So today I'm going to be doing a back to school makeup tutorial and I'm super excited because I know that a lot of you guys have requested that I do back to school kind of videos. Sorry if there's lines on me P.S. I can't really help it. The sun is out today. Decided to come out for once. That's really something special. So this is my back to school makeup look. Um, I have a back to school trends video and if you have any other back to school videos you want me to do, I will do them. I'm obviously going to go back to school shopping so when I do that I will do a haul video and all that jazz. So yes, I hope you guys like this look. It, I think it's really nice and simple and light for school. And obviously um, everyone likes their makeup a little different so let me know what you would change about this or what you like about it or what have you. So thank you guys for watching and let's get started with the tutorial. I'm just going to show you guys quickly. Obviously, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be talking, so it's going to take me a little bit longer to do the whole makeup look, because um, I'm talking and explaining things. So usually without me talking or, you know, doing a tutorial sort of thing, this makeup look will take me around 8 minutes. So, I know it sounds pretty exact, so I'm going to get started, and I'm first going to start with foundation and concealer. So I'm just going to put some foundation on the back of my hand. I'm going to kind of place this around my eyes and cheeks area. So um, usually I spend a bit more time on my face because I feel like I need to, but I mean everyone has their own opinion. So now I'm just blending all my foundation with a big fluffy sort of um, flat top brush. Um, the foundation that I use most of the time is this one, and it's a tinted kind of makeup, so it's very light, and you really can't feel it on your face. Um, it is very light coverage, like I said, so if you want more, you're going to have to build it up or use a different one. Or, like I like to do, go back in with a concealer. Now I have all my face makeup on, and I'm just going to set that all with a nice loose powder. The great thing about a loose powder like this is that it just kind of goes on and it's not like heavy again. I really like to have a light face for school, and I think that this looks the most natural. So I'll just take a brush, kind of play with it inside of a little powder thingy. Now I'm just going to apply this all over my face, concentrating on my T-zone. Let's move on to eyes. I'm excited because I feel like this is actually an eye look that I will continue out throughout summer, um, or winter, sorry. No, throughout school. I don't know what I'm saying. And it's really, really easy. It doesn't take a lot of work or like a lot of, I don't know, effort, I guess. So I'm going to start just by applying Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. And this is just, <gasps> that was like a really deep breath. I don't know why that happened. But I'm just going to apply a, oh, hey, kitty. I'm just going to apply it right to the lash line. And then I'm going to take um, Shroom Eyeshadow from MAC. And this is just a really nice kind of light color. Um, I like to just put it on a big brush like this and kind of place it in my inner corner as well as working it into the inner part of my eye. Oh, that went into my eye. That's going to hurt. And then I'm going to take Rice Paper, which is just more of a yellow toned um, color. And I'm going to place that on the rest of my eye. This is obviously optional. I don't wear eyeliner every day. But on the days that I do wear eyeliner, I always use the Lancome Le Crayon Cool. And the reason I use this is because it's super, super smooth. And I love the application of it because it's super easy to use. And what I like to do is I like to actually line my tight line, which is just a little flap of skin or a little... That sounds really gross. But it's a little bit of skin that's right underneath your top eyelashes. So all that does is really thicken your lashes and make your lashes look a lot thicker. Next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply mascara. And I always use waterproof mascara in case I'm sweating throughout the day at school or what have you. I don't know what happens at school. Water falls on you. Who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? But I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. And I'm just going to put my favorite waterproof mascara on and just put a light um, coat on and then if you want to build it up wait for it to dry and then put the next layer on so I'm probably gonna do about two layers of mascara and then move on so yeah that's pretty much the eye makeup and I think it looks nice and light and good for school again try and sort of moderate moderate that's not right last I'm gonna do my lips and I really like to use a lip stain um, I've talked about lots of different lip stains on my channel I love covergirl lip stains um, I just love lip stains in general. I find them wonderful. So the one I'm using today is actually Benetint, and this is by Benefit. You probably have all heard about it. It kind of looks like a nail polish. Um, and I'm just going to apply this, and you can build it up. 
until you get your desired um, color. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have an amazing back to school. If you're going back to school already, that really sucks, but have an amazing back to school. Let me know how it goes. What are you excited for? What are you nervous for? Tell me, I wanna know. So yes, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.